Hey there foodies! Welcome back to Babble Bites. Today, we have a fascinating topic to explore. We all know Gordon Ramsay for his tough critiques, but did you know there are times when even he can't resist a delicious dish? That's right, in today's video, we're going to talk about 7 times Gordon Ramsay actually liked the food. So, without further ado, let's get started. Gordon Ramsay is known for being brutally honest when critiquing chefs and their restaurants on Kitchen Nightmares. If a restaurant appears on the show, it's a strong indicator that the food quality is quite poor, sometimes even causing Ramsay to have an adverse physical reaction. Although it may be entertaining to watch Gordon Ramsay deliver his harsh criticisms on TV, it can be incredibly demoralizing for the chefs and staff who receive his blunt feedback. However, there are moments when restaurants manage to redeem themselves by serving a dish that Ramsay genuinely enjoys. This is a significant achievement, given Ramsay's reputation for candidly expressing his opinions. These instances of Gordon Ramsay appreciating a meal on Kitchen Nightmares provide a glimmer of hope and satisfaction for the struggling restaurants. It must be a remarkable feeling to receive a sincere compliment from a chef famous for his straightforwardness. These are the seven most remarkable occasions when Gordon Ramsay genuinely liked the food featured on Kitchen Nightmares. Number 7. Handlebar liked the chowder. The chowder received positive remarks from Gordon Ramsay, who described it as nicely seasoned, very tasty, and ideal for a winter's day. However, the seafood crepes didn't fare as well in his evaluation. Ramsay found them to be rubbery, with firm scallops, overcooked prawns, and crab meat that turned out to be plastic and imitation. The filet fondue, unfortunately, left a lot to be desired, with Ramsay describing it as rancid, pointless, and nothing more than a joke. Number 6. The Crab Cake at Café Han. At Café Han, Gordon Ramsay finds the food largely unsatisfactory. The crab cake just falls apart. A bit like the decor. You touch it, it just disintegrates. They're not fresh. He uses words like disappointing, cold, soggy, and even dreadful to describe most of the dishes he tries. However, amidst his less than favorable experience, there's a glimmer of hope in the form of the crab cake found in the Big Bay Club. The crab cake, which is a key component of this seafood tower sandwich, pleasantly surprises Gordon. He describes it as delicious and a delightful revelation. While this positive assessment ends there, the crab cake serves as a symbol of potential improvement for Café Han. It suggests that even though the restaurant's overall performance may be lacking, there's a chance for them to enhance their offerings and make strides toward better quality cuisine. Number 5. Blackberry's Red Velvet Cake. Blackberries is a restaurant struggling with its soul food, which often lacks flavor and moisture. Mm. Wow, that is delicious. In fact, one of the dishes was so unpleasant that it made Gordon physically ill. Despite these challenges, there was a surprising turn of events towards the end of Gordon's visit. The highlight came in the form of a dessert, a delightful red velvet cake. Gordon expressed his delight, stating, finally, some good food. I had to wait until the end. This dessert provided a welcome and much-needed positive note in an otherwise disappointing dining experience at Blackberry's. It showcased that amidst their culinary struggles, the restaurant had the potential to deliver delicious dishes, giving hope for improvement in the future. Number 4. Hot Potato Cafe. It's like it's been made out of leftover mashed potatoes. They fresh every day. They make it. Hot Potato Cafe has faced a serious issue with its food, which can be aptly described as spuddy hell. The main challenge stems from the fact that the head chef, a 21-year-old woman named Danielle, lacks formal culinary training and only holds the chef position due to family obligations. However, with limited guidance from Chef Ramsay, Danielle manages to create a baked potato dish that leaves a strong impression on one of the world's most renowned chefs. In fact, Gordon Ramsay is so impressed with Danielle's recipe that he decides it should be added to the Hot Potato Café's menu on the very same night. This recognition from Gordon Ramsay serves as a significant achievement for Danielle and provides hope for the restaurant's culinary future, despite its previous food-related troubles. Number 3. The Cake at Amy's Baking Company. Upon his initial arrival at Amy's Baking Company, Come around, my darling. So nice to meet you. Don't give him a hug. <laughs> He was a playboy. Gordon Ramsay finds several positive aspects that catch his attention. He is impressed by the restaurant's decor, the cleanliness of the kitchen, and the organization of its operations. 
Additionally, he enjoys a delicious piece of cake that leaves a favorable impression of the establishment. This positive experience leads Gordon to question how a restaurant with such tasty food and a pleasant atmosphere could end up on a show like Kitchen Nightmares. However, as Gordon spends more time at Amy's baking company, he quickly realizes that his task there would be far from easy. The restaurant becomes a hotbed of drama and frustration, with tensions escalating. This turn of events makes Gordon's initial enjoyment of the cake and his positive first impression of the restaurant seem almost unbelievable in contrast to the challenges he faces during his visit. Number 2. The Redemption Burger. The owners of the burger kitchen had a habit of using cheap, frozen patties to make their burgers. Is there a plot against you from Yelp to close this business? No question in my mind. When Gordon Ramsay initially visited the restaurant, he didn't like the taste of the burgers because he could tell they were of low quality. However, after Gordon's arrival, the executive chef, named David, had a rare opportunity to create a burger using his own recipe and a fresh patty. This was something David had never been allowed to do during his time at the restaurant. To David's great joy, Gordon thoroughly enjoyed the burger he prepared, which he called the Redemption Burger. Gordon remarked that it was like a complete transformation compared to the terrible burger he had sampled when he first arrived at the burger kitchen. Number 1. Mama Cherries. The catfish goujons served with homemade pineapple salsa have a pleasing and light quality. As for the main course, it's a bit of a mishmash with a combination of soul food elements like ribs, chicken, and succotash. That looks fantastic. You're not throwing things in there anymore now, you place them in there nicely, they actually look it's smart. Better. It looks better. Despite its seemingly disorganized presentation, the taste is exceptional, particularly with the tender ribs. Gordon Ramsay enjoys it so much that he finishes every last bite on his plate. And there you have it, seven times when Gordon Ramsay couldn't help but love the food in front of him. It just goes to show that even the harshest critics can be won over by exceptional cooking. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Babble Bites for more tasty content, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a bite. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video.